All right, today we're going to be doing tutorial for YouTube with or without you. And um, it's funny, I actually watched the last tutorial that we did. <laughs> I thought, like, gosh, what a dork I am, but uh, I don't know. I don't like the way I look on camera, but maybe, maybe, you, maybe you like it. Maybe you're enjoying the lessons. Um, I just think, I just don't like the way I look on camera. So I probably won't watch this one, but I hope you get something good out of it. Okay, so let me kind of, I'm not gonna give you any song history or anything like that or any history of the band. Sometimes I put that stuff into a song. Um, Cause this one is so technical and because I'm not gonna cover like the, um, you know, the electronics part of it, this video is for anybody who wants to uh, play YouTube with or without you on acoustic guitar. And it's not really a modified version. It's just, uh, it's just the way you play on acoustic guitar. Uh, so basically, what I give you is one minute into the song, after the Edge's you know, synthesizer He's done with that. And then what you realize is it's such a beautiful song, but it's really a very simple song. And Edge is basically doing the same thing throughout the song. And once you start to play it, it actually seems a little bit boring just how, how simple it is, but it really is. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is play the notes of the bass line, but on this guitar. So that way, what you can actually do is play the whole song and sing, sing the words to it um, on the acoustic guitar, and this is how you're going to do it. And so you're just basically, just what I just said, that's what you're going to do. So basically, first minute of the song, Bono doesn't start singing for like 30 whole seconds. Um, um, the bass guitar is going while Edge is still, you know, messing around with the synthesizer. He's basically just plucking one string. It's probably, it's probably G. And he's just going from one string, from one fret to another with the same string back and forth. But you cannot do that unless you have an electric guitar and you have your, all your adjustments made on your amplifier. And if you have a synthesizer, it basically boils down to there's a delay all of most of Edge's music is on delay, but there's also certain modifications you have to make to that delay. And there's lots of wonderful guys out there on YouTube that you can watch. If any of them are playing an electric guitar, you can see it in the first frame. And they'll usually tell you that like there's a link there that you can go to look up all the specifications on Edge's delay. But it's not simple. There's like five or six parts to it. But anyway, so he's doing this whole thing in here. But then, so basically, what Edge does, he, he's going, he's going, all throughout the song, pretty much. And then at the end, he kind of gets into some other stuff. But a lot of that has to do with the legs, too. So what I'm going to show you is about a minute in when Edge takes off on actually playing the guitar. So what you want to do is you want to go down 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th fret. Um, some people feel more comfortable using their ring finger. I think you can use your pinky or your ring finger. It doesn't really matter. Um, so the first, your 4th finger is on the 8th fret of the uh, B string and your ring or your middle finger is on the 10th fret of the high E string. And basically what you're doing, whether it's on acoustic guitar or electric guitar, is this. You're going to basically do this. Alright? You're basically going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you're going to be plucking both strings three times, I believe it is. But you're going to go back to that B string one final time. But then after you do that, and this is all the same thing, um, 
you're going to flip up here to the 7th fret, same string B, and you're going to pluck that. And then here's, here's, the, here's the neat part. What Edge is doing is he's going up with his thumb to the G and the B string and doing this, open. No, no plucking, no nothing, just open. G and B, just like that. And when you pluck G, the way I like to do it, when you pluck G, you go ahead, and because you're not fretting anything, you move your forefinger back down to 8 to get yourself ready. And then when you hit B, you put your pinky back down onto the fret on high E, and you, can, and you go. Okay, so you basically got the gist of that. I don't know what it is about my, my, my forefinger or my pinky finger, but they do not like these metal strings. <laughs> so you basically you get the gist of that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down. And you got the best part of the song. I mean, that, that's pretty much what Edge does pretty much like the entire song. Okay, now, the Edge does play these notes in the song, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, play the bass part. Um, I'm going to play the bass part like the bass part, but just using these chords. So basically, it's... Dun 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 And when you do that is with E, with a D. And I'm going to show you how to basically glide from one chord to another so that you don't lose your rhythm and your timing, especially if you're a beginner. This is a great song for a beginner, but what I want to impress upon you if you're a beginner is watch the little idiosyncrasy of how I do this, okay? So, D is this, if you're a beginner, middle finger on the second fret of high E, with the ring finger on the third fret of B, and the fourth finger on the second fret of, of uh, what is that? G, okay? And then, we're gonna move to A, and A is basically, A can be this, all in a cluster. A can be that. Can you see everything, Rich? Mm -hmm. Can you see every single position? Can you see exactly where my fingers mm -hmm. are? Okay, so somebody watches this video, they can just look at it and see where my fingers are. Right. Okay, that's what I want to. That's what I want to show. Okay, but when you're sometimes when you're playing, you want to make things simple. So you may not be able to do this just yet, but you can actually bar to where you can see that my. My fourth finger is is muting the high E string, and it's playing uh, G. It's playing D, G, and B like that. And then you're gonna go over here to B, and B you're gonna be right here on the second fret of A. But then you're gonna take your pinky over here on the fourth fret, and you're gonna bar down all of all of this. You're gonna mute the high E string with your pinky very gently. Um, you can also mute it with your forefinger, um, and you're pressing down the D, G, B strings with that. You can see that very clearly, Rich? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then when you come back up, you can just hit G, just like that, and that's G. Can you see that clearly? Mm -hmm. Where the forefinger is, where the middle finger is, and where the ring finger is. Okay, very carefully, very clearly. Okay, so now that you know where all the finger placements need to be at, so what you do is, 
This is the, this is the trick that I use. Okay, so this is D. It's and then you're gonna go to A. And you're gonna go to B. And then you're gonna go to G. Now here's the thing. See what I did? Here's D. Just roll your forefinger up to your pinkies here anyway. Roll your forefinger up to here. Now here's the trick. Okay. Your forefinger is already right where it needs to be to play G. Okay. Your forefinger is already right where it needs to be to play G. Your pinky just needs to come up. So very gently and easily. You place your middle finger up here on the low E string and bring your ring finger down here to the B string. And then what's neat about this is that your ring finger is already where it needs to be to play D, right? Your ring finger is already where it needs to be to play D, so all you do is you're going to take your forefinger and your middle finger, bring them all the way down and switch places. So you're going to come all the way down, and you're going to bring your middle finger in here, and you're, and you're going to stuff your forefinger in there onto the G string. Keep doing that. It's D, A, B, and then G. And that is how you play U2 with the wood out you on acoustic guitar because you've got nothing else. <laughs> And honestly, outside of the beginning synthesizer and the very end of the song, you know, edges strumming here, there, and everywhere, this is how you play the song on acoustic guitar. And um, so I hope you like the video. I hope you get something good out of it. And good day to you.